Hi, Indian Landing. I am so excited to join you on Sunday for this read aloud. If you don't know me, I was a first grade teacher at Indian Landing. I miss my students so much, as well as Mrs. Ware and the staff there, that I feel very lucky to be able to come back and read you this story that's called Blackout. And this is based on a true story that happened in New York City, which is where I moved to. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. And right now that's hard to picture with all this snow and cold we've had. And they're showing you the inside of buildings and there's someone on the phone, someone on their computer, someone cooking. And she looks like she's wanting to play a game. Inside, everyone was busy, very busy. She's heading down, much too busy. No time for the game. Back upstairs to play the video games, which I know many of you do. when all the lights went out, all of them. So imagine it's night and you're playing your video games and all of a sudden it's pitch dark. Mom, exactly what I would do. Nothing worked at all. So none of the lights, so they have their flashlight off, the phones aren't working. Pretty scary. The city was dark and quiet and still. And this looks a lot like the street that I live on and it's rarely this dark and still. We huddled around flashlights and candles. Looks like they're starting to play games. Until it was too hot and sticky to sit inside. Can we go? And so we went up and up and up to the rooftop and found lights. And you might be thinking, what are the lights? All of these stars. When you live in a big city, you can't always see these stars because of all the lights from the buildings and the cars. So to this is beautiful to them. And people, it was a block party in the sky. We waved to everyone, then heard cheers and other sounds below. That looks like fun to me. So we went down and down and down to the street. Come on, she's saying. A party was going on there too. Looks like they have a fire hydrant open for playing in the water, free ice cream, someone singing. Not too bad with this blackout. And no one was busy at all. When the lights came back on, everything went back to normal. TV, phone, laptop. But not everyone likes normal. I gotta go. Good idea, buddy. So they're finally playing that board game. And 
So I hope you don't actually have a blackout, but I do want you to try to get off those video games and TVs and laptops, get outside, go and play. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you were a student of mine, I can't even tell you how much I miss you. I adore you. I know that you're doing well and I hope to see you soon. And that goes for all the teachers there too. And Mrs. Ware, bye.